Good morning, Bakers. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a special edition of Wake and Jake in the Morning. We told you guys we might be mixing things up a little bit if we get some funky Yankee schedule. We might try some stuff out. I'm excited. We stumbled into something today. You know, we were thinking of pre recording something to get ahead the Yankee schedule because it's going to be a late night Thursday. So, you know, we had some ideas spinning. We had a guest in the office today, the dude, Joe's McFly. Joe's, what's going on, brother? What's good, buddy? I'm chilling, man. Chilling. It's uh, Wake and Jake vibes, man. You know. Like that. Thursday morning, kind of easy. Got your coffee. Yeah. Um, I learned something. Okay. About coffee. So, apparently... Go blind. So oh yeah, I'm already, in a, I'm already in a bad situation with that department. So I, I think I, I think I'm gonna go tea from now on. So everyone enjoying your cup of Joe this morning, cup of Joe's, excuse me. Um, <laughs> yeah, we talked about that on JJR a it little should bit be a morning yesterday. Show too. Oops. Cup of Joe's coming up. Yeah, ad. Yeah, 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 ad. Um, and so you know we were spinning through ideas. I think where this started was Joe's. We did an episode couple weeks back where we just got it kind of got caught in the baseball reference wormhole and I was looking at a couple dudes you know Jose Vidro um the old expo second baseman and we just started talking about like uh not the guys that you always hear who like just missed the hall of fame like not the matting leagues but like Mm -hmm. the guys who are below that that like Like you know notch under they were like all stars for a couple years like you knew those guys um you know, I'm trying to think some... The chat was on fire that day. They were throwing out some great names. Um, but what that spun into today, we had Joe's here, BBD, and we wanted to get the draft game. You guys like the drafts on JJR, so we wanted to get creative. And I think we got something that's going to be a full a full up. We're drafting baseball teams. So you guys are going to... This is crack for you guys. You guys are going to love this. <laughs> Uh, starting nine with a DH and a starting pitcher. And every player has to be from a different country. Mm. Except you get to double up on one country. So if you want to double up on the USA or the DR, Mexico, Japan, wherever it is, whatever country is speaking to you, you can double up there. Um, I'm so interested to see where we land. Uh, because obviously there's value. There's some countries that have one guy from them. So if you can get that bonus country, does that make it easier for you to get a DR guy later? Something like that. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see the strategies. It's going to be interesting to see what countries get doubled up. It's going to see what positions get tough. And uh, I am living in fear of the last round of like not having a second <laughs> baseman, and then I have to... Find someone from Austria who's oh, and it's guys currently in the league, currently so active players. players, active, and you have to do a position that they play. Uh, maybe not every inning of every game, but they play it. It can be not their like primary. The example that we used was uh, Glaber Torres for the Yankees. You know, plays yeah. mostly has played all shortstop this year. Has played all mm, shorts up this year, unless you're counting shifts. But. I think the last two years he hasn't played anything besides shortstop and maybe a DH day or two. But, but I mean, he did play like a full season of second base. He can play second. If the Yankees start him at second base tomorrow, we'd feel good about it. Yes. But third base would be out. He hasn't done that. He doesn't play there. Uh, like Same with first base, outfield, all of it. So those are the guidelines as of now. 
Um, we'll do a snake draft, and we're we're going through it. So, hey, if you want to buckle in, uh, I think this is going to be a fun, fun episode. So, Joe's, we normally start off the draft. We have a random number generator. Okay. Um, so I'm going to write down a number between 1 and 100. Um, okay. You write down a number between 1 and 100. All right. And we will reveal that to the audience. BBD is writing down a number. He knows the game. Um. Man, I can't. I think I might wake up to watch the live chat react to this tomorrow because they're hmm. they're going to be going nuts. All right, I got my number. Okay, what number did you write down? Seventy-five. I went forty-five. I went sixty-nine again because it's just the number I had left over, and we're recording this on six-nine day. It's good. All right, I'm going to hit the random gener- generate number thing in front of you guys to show there's no funny business. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. What's this, that mean? This kind of makes it. So, I get first pick. Okay. So, I get to pick my pick. Mm. Um, I think I'm going to take first pick just because I don't know what to do. Yeah. It feels like it'll be more valuable. I guess. So, I'm going to take first pick. BBD 6975. Mm-hmm. So, BBD, what pick would you like? Um, I'll take the wrap around. Again, no real strategy behind it, but... sure. I get a break. So you'll be the sandwich (laughs) pick, Joes. All right. I'll be in between. Okay. Well, luckily, I'm so prepared. I know who my number one is going to be. Is it going to? Oh, and the draft is brought to you by Dugout Mugs. We got them on the table. Dugout Mugs. Joes is filled with ping pong balls right now. Uh, You can put liquids in there. You put whatever you want in there. We had flowers in there once. Father's Day is coming up. Is it this weekend? Is it next weekend? How do we definitely? Okay, it's coming up. The twentieth. Twentieth. Okay, so you so you got time. You got time. Go get your pops a dugout mug. Uh, They're the best. We've been working with them for a while. You can get pretty much whatever you want ingrained on there. We got talking Yanks ones. There's Yankees ones. There's every baseball team, every player. They're with the MLBPA. There's judgy one. There's whoever you like. Go check out Dugout Mugs, dugoutmugs.com slash discount slash Jake. 35% off your next order. That's a deal. Dug That's out, a big number. Dugout Mugs. Oh. Oh. Dugout Mugs. Go get your Dugout Mugs slash discount slash Jake. 35% off Dugout Mugs. They're the best. Perfect Father's Day gift. Right. All right. Number one pick in the draft um, you know, we, we've discussed some gentlemen's rules out here mm-hmm. before getting some players out there. Um, BBD probably knows this uh, from the states draft. I am a I'm a value guy. Mm. I'd rather check some of these countries off so my whole my team doesn't have a hole in it. Um, so that was kind of a big reveal. Mm-hmm. I think what I'm gonna do, and it it hurts me a little bit to say this. Because I think I think you're gonna do what I'm what I was gonna do if I was number one. Okay, I'm gonna take Xander Bogarts. Yeah. Um. Okay. Xander Bogarts is from Aruba, I believe. Let me just double check. Aruba. He's one of two active players from Aruba. Him and Chadwick Trump. Okay. Um. So I am taking Xander Bogarts. He is pretty underrated. He just stung the Yankees last series a little bit. Um, he's the best shortstop in the AL. Um, I like Xander Bogarts. So to get to get that country out of the way, and that saves me later to have a really good player like Xander Bogarts. That makes me happy. So Xander Bogarts first pick in the draft. Mm. That's gonna give me some love with the Yankees fans, huh? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that, the Bogarts. Um, Joe's McFly. I'm gonna take a similar, similar strategy, right? Okay. Uh, but this would actually get me some love with the Yankee fans. I'm gonna go Girashella because, Ooh. you know, from Colombia, I believe that there's only, in terms of active players, there's not that many with his skill set, really. Yeah. Um, so I can go with Girashella, and I'll throw him at. Hmm. You know what? I will throw Gio Urshela at uh, shortstop. 
You're going shortstop, Gio Urshela. Wow. And I'm going to throw Gio Urshela at short. Some funny business early. So that I can be able to open up that spot somewhere else. From Joe's else. McFly. Okay. That's fine. And how, how about this? We, we kind of discussed this beforehand. Um, if Gio needs to move later in the draft to third, you can You're do allowed that. to. Oh, for so now. Yeah. Okay. For okay. now, we're penciling so, him in at short so, so you short. have it. So you have some flexibility. Um, I appreciate that. Looks like the Wi-Fi may have gone out, which is hurting me with the sheet. Um, but that's just technology. Yeah, I mean, we're not. It seems to be working for can, me. Can you, is there a way to plug you in, BBD? Um, there? there probably is. Show's mine. So you guys have internet, I don't. Yeah. I see Geo in here. Okay. All right. Well, let's. Okay. Let's keep rolling, I guess. I will BBD also, the I'm targeting a country. I have no idea what I'm going to do with the second pick in this round, but I'll, okay. I'm going to take Max Kepler. Okay. Because he's, mm. the, That's a he's good pick. the German. And he's hot. He is. Trev's all a hot boy team. That's a position right there, too. Yeah. And I'll. I'll slide him into center field for now, but he we know he can move to a corner. He has the ability to play center. Okay, so you're... For now, he's the center fielder. I listed he's, them as outfield. We did say gentlemen's rules coming into this, like you're... Like, don't make a corner outfielder your center yeah, fielder. Yeah, like you kind of... You have to have some defense out there. So, yeah, Max Kepler I knew was going to be a big pick in this draft. Um, Okay, so now I'm I'm writing in... Email that you guys can see So Joe's has Urshela at shortstop So the first round Is <laughs> Sander Bogarts mm-hmm. um, Max Kepler For BBD okay. And so we've checked off Aruba, Colombia, and Germany It's beautiful It's beautiful Alright, BBD you kick off round two. I do, don't I? Let's let's see. Be cool to find another niche country. Mm. Well, I guess Joe's not. thinks he has some. <laughs> mm. The pressure begins. We are having a DH. A niche country. Um, you know what? I w- mm. thinking. Mm. <laughs> I will take Shohei Otani, and I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with him later. Okay. For now, we can slot him in the into DH. Okay. BBD takes Shohei Otani. Heard of him? Shohei Otani. He's pretty good, Joe's. Yeah, he is. He is. Good. I was actually thinking about. Taking him. Um, yeah. Whoops. Thinking about BBD. taking him. Uh, thanks, BBD. Good pick. Uh, good pick. Good pick. Good pick. Good Nervous pick. about positional and country value there, but he is so good. Sure. He's good. He's really good. Um. Let's go south of Korea. Oh really? You're gonna do it. Let's take um I'll take Ryu. Okay. I'll take Ryu. Okay. To be my starting got pitcher. Your pitcher. Okay. I will take Ryu. Yes. Ryu's really good. And he's from a country without a ton of baseball talent. Mm-hmm. Mm. That, yeah, not a lot of active major leaguers. Yeah, so south of Korea <laughs> for yeah, Joe's. Uh, that's there, a good pick. Yeah, that's a good pick. I was considering. I was considering. You could take another. There's another one from there that you. There could is. Take. There's a guy I'm eyeing. If if I land there, I land there. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna feel pressured into it. No, you don't gotta feel mm. pressured if you. Um, if you want to pick Russ Snyder. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Rob, man. Rob Ref's been doing it. He has been. Rob Ref's been raking so far this year. 
Um, okay, back to back picks. We're not doing relievers, by the way. I don't know if we said that to the no people. relievers. Yeah, that's well, just too much. No relievers. That's just tired. No closers. Can't do that. Um, okay. Sorry, sorry Chapman. Sorry, Chappy. Um, I think where I'm gonna go. I really like this guy. And I got I got some crazy pressure every single pick because I'm like next after every pick. I uh, think yeah, that, that's that's why. I'm <laughs> yeah, the style. sandwich pick's tough, Joe. <laughs> sandwich pick's tough. Um, Damn. I'm gonna do it. I I think it's good value and checks a country off. I'm gonna take Ozzy Albies from Curacao slash Netherlands. Curacao is <laughs> we've combined as one country. By okay. The way. Um, mm-hmm. I love Ozzy. He, yeah, he. When I was looking through players by country, he stuck out to me. Um, so, so the, you've got your middle infield. Yeah, how about that? As just as I predicted and wanted, got my middle infield, Curacao. Um, and then on the pick coming back, um, God, do I need to knock out another rare rare country? That's a weird way to phrase it. Um, oh, I'm thinking about doing something. I'm thinking about doing I'm th- something. I'm thinking too. I'm thinking. I'm th- Joe's. I think I'm about to do what you were thinking about doing. And I hope you don't. And I think I'm going to do it. I'm taking Vladimir Guerrero Jr., <clears throat> the first Canadian. baseman from Canada. From, from Canada. Canada. Go check it out. He was born. In Canada, you might remember his pops <laughs> played up there a little bit, and now he's playing up there. So I am, I was feeling a little nervous about my draft. Now I'm feeling pretty good. Mm. Now I'm feeling pretty tasty. Um, they knocked out some tough countries. Vladito, Canada. Okay, Joe's. Um, Okay, that's Sandwich. fine. That's, that's okay. fine. That's okay. Ooh, no, that's okay. I'm not. That's almost okay. gave away a hint. Not gonna do that. That's okay. Mm. Um, okay, I've got options. There. I believe I'm. I think I might go bigger, uh, a, a bigger player right here because I want to also have a really good team. Right. Right. Yeah, we're trying to get this round the is the trickiest. Um. So. I'll be kind of stuck it. All right, you know what? I'm going to take this guy. Dude's a beast. Um, having a really good year this year. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take um, Ronald Acuna. Okay. Mm. From That's Venezuela. A That's a good pick. And I will put him in center field. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. okay. You can slide him I later. Like that. Yeah, I can slide him later. But I will take him. He has center field. Ability, just kind of little Venezuela, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Venezuela, like, like I knew a lot. There's a lot of good Venezuelans, but it's like, it's like the longest I had to scroll on the list to yeah, get man. get like That's, through all the active players. I remember the. F- I don't know if it was the first World Baseball Classic, but I remember Venezuela rolled out, and it was guys like Carlos Lee, and like it was mashers, and I was like, okay, Venezuela, yep, yep, Venezuela yep. banks. Venezuela Banks. That's a good pick. Venezuela. He's good. Yeah. Ronald's good. All right. Ronald's good. BBD, yes. you have the back to back. Joe's McFly's team, Ryu, Acuna, and Urshela. BBD with Kepler and Otani, and about to add two guys to that list. I'm looking very hard, trying to find where I'm going to go here. Mm. Oh, man. Oh boy. Okay. He's Cuban. Um <laughs> God. Pensive. Thinking. Man. I have Man. Urshela, Acuna, and Ryu. I can close my Aruba tab. Aruba's I... out. Oh, fuck. 
This is hard. It's tough. It's a hard game. It's not easy. Okay. I need some more ball players out of Panama. Like, when's the Mariano generation yeah. getting here? You would think. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I have two picks I got to do. Okay. So I'm struggling to come up with the first one. Gonna knock out another rare country, I think. Okay. He is an exciting player. I'm not sure I'm getting the best value here, but I'll, I'll, I'll take Jazz Chisholm. Okay. Mm. Not he's from the Bahamas. Yeah. The only active Bahamian. Is that how you would say that? I like that. Bohemian. So he slots into second base. I guess he hasn't. I, I think he could play shortstop, but second baseman. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Bohemian, right? Am I Bo- saying that right? Bohemian. Bohemian. Okay. Oh, I need another pick. Damn. BBD? Yep. Your follow up pick? Um, okay, and I think I can go to bigger. I don't understand. What is it? A more, a more well documented country. I think I will take. Oh, he's from there too. Uh, I think. I think I will take. Let me make sure he's from here. Oh. Where's he from? How embarrassing would that be? Where's he from? I will be taking Jose Ramirez as my Dominican. Mm. And he will play third base. Okay. Okay, BBD. I love some J Ram. De lo mio. All right. Let's see. J Ram from the Dominican. And I wish this thing showed me more. Well, when I clicked on the player, um, Joe's McFly looking to add to the Ryu Acuna Urshela. I kind of want to. I kind of want to go instead of just rare country right now. I want to go to. Take care of a position okay. that's very difficult to fill okay. because nobody's too good at it okay. hitting-wise. Um, but um, I'm going catcher here. And I just want to confirm real quick what country. Checking country. I think he's from a particular country, but I just want to make sure. Okay. California. Country check. Country check real quick. And give me this. Okay. Okay. Our research department's on it. Right away. Um... Mm. I'm kind of on the fence about this just because I just. You oh. know what? He just started getting hot. I was going to, I was going to, I just pivoted uh, immediately. I'm going to go Gary Sanchez. Wow. And he's going to be my Dominican. Wow. You know? So I'm going to go ahead and take El wow. Gary, El Kraken de lo mine. I'm going to go ahead and take. Uh, Gary Sanchez. I was thinking about going Salvi Perez, but that then I'm like, I'm not catchy. going. I don't want to take two, two from Venezuela yet. Joe's, we uh, it's early to do your double. Yeah, it's early, early to do, to do, do the, the double. double. Okay, very early. You're taking El Gary Sanchez from the DR. Okay, you know I um Joe's. I was in an interesting boat, and catcher does get kind of funky. Catcher does get. Weird. I mean, Weird. it's. Hmm. 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 Um, I'm gonna do it. Uh, mostly because I can't let BBD do it. I will take JT Real Mudo mm. at catcher. Um, I think he's arguably the best. Um, BBD's been talking about his Phillies infield pick for a while, and Real Mudo is a big part of that. Mm. So I will do it. We'll see if I double dip. In America later, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. 
I was holding back. It, I've been trying so my best to hold back USA for a little capture, while. Or you've both taken your yeah. captures. Yeah, so, I can wait so that, that leaves a lane for you. That leaves a lane for you, but I... Uh, I can wait on shortstop and catcher. I thought he was going... I guess or can well, you? We can, yeah, you we can, can DH. You can slide someone. I've DH'd before. Mm. Um, okay. So that checks off a pretty big box for me. Um, I'm going to click around right. to a couple Country countries just to be safe. Um, ooh, I didn't realize... Man, I kind of... There's a country I screwed up a little bit. Um, I like a lot of dudes uh, from this country. And I don't know if I realize that. Damn. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not mad about that. Well, let me see. No, I kind of screwed that up. Okay. Whatever, Jake. Nobody fucking cares about this. Um, so I have, I have my whole infield. Minus third, third base. I could use an outfielder. I could use a pitcher. Um, let's get an outfielder, right? Or a DH. Mm. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the beautiful island country of... Of Cuba. I knew it, man. Mm. Crazy. Um, <laughs> now the question is: the question is, who do I take? Because there's a couple similar options. Mm-hmm. So many choices. Um. Okay, I am going to take, and I'm going to play him. Oh man, this is brutal, guys. I am going to take. I'm going to take Jordan Alvarez in DHM. Okay. Okay. I think he's kind of all time. Not yet. Mm. But that's how that's it's how much great, I like him. Good talent. That's how much I like him. Like I, I think when my lineup gets finished. I think I'm going to like where I'm at. So, Jordan Alvarez. Okay. Joe's McFly. You picked twice? Yeah, I took Jordan and Real Muto. Oh, let's see. There's a guy I like. Um, I think I'm staying in Cuba with you. Okay. And I'm going to pick Jose Abreu. Yeah. Because I need to, I need a first baseman, yeah, no and he is one of the best. I'm good with him. I trust his bat. Um, good dude. Mm. So I will take El Cubano. I, I almost, I considered kicking Vladito to third because I think he's played a couple innings there to get mm-hmm. Jose at first, but it wasn't worth it. I don't want to mess with mm. Vladdy. Yeah, I don't want to mess with him. He's full time first base is working for yeah. him. Um, okay. So I can now save my Cuban selection. Okay. And I I'll will. double Cuba, BBD. Don't think I won't double Cuba. I guess Cuba. you could. Oh, I forgot about That's a country that could get double. Are you guys starting to think about what, com- what country That's a great you're trying point. to double? I think coming into the draft, I assumed it was going to be USA or DR. Okay. But I'm flexible. Mm. Yeah, I, yeah, because I don't think... There's a chance I would double up here. Oh, yeah, I guess I can't risk you guys doubling up in this country, so I'm also going to take a Cuban. Okay. And I'll... Cuba I I'll, round. I think Cuba I'll take round. Randy Arozarena. Okay. I, I thought about Arrozarena. it. I thought about it. Would you rather have him, or Kepler, or other in center field? Not that it um, really matters. At this point, I w- am lining it up. Randy... In left field, okay. Kepler still in center. Okay. That's how I currently got it mapped out. Okay. So the Cuba round. Cuba round. Cuba Gooding Jr. And I suppose yeah, with my you're back to back. wraparound pick. You know where I'm going Am next. I really doing? Okay. I might finish my outfield. Okay. I'm, I'm, a, little, gonna, I'm a little worried how you're going to You're going right with now. Tiermeyer? I think I'm going to take Mike Trout now. Ah, uh, okay. Damn it. I 
That's a good pick. Oh, man. We'll put him in center. And Kepler we'll slides to right. right. I believe that's the position Kepler's okay. played the most as well. Yeah. He's most comfortable yeah, in right yeah, field. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. DVD's outfield is done. Rosa, Reina, Trout, and Kepler. That's not Maybe bad. DVD killed me. That ain't bad. That's where I was going. Joe's, I'm sorry. Now the game begins. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm doing math in my head. Is oh, that, is there still that is devastating. <laughs> I just I messed somebody up. I forgot I was saving a guy. Oh. It's not that bad. Okay. It's not that gross. Okay. All right. Um, Actually, no, I'm good. I'll be good. I'll be good. He's good. I'll be good. Yeah, that's who I had queued up. Mm. Thanks. Um... All right. Now we did say, right? We did say Puerto Rico. We're gonna consider that separate. Right. That's its own. Right. Yep. And um, I suppose I'm realizing I haven't looked at the Puerto Rico page. That trial pick kind of killed me, bro. That's why I was going to <laughs> Um. Do I want to move Gio now? Mm. I know what you're thinking. And I think that might be your move. There's so many good shortstops there. There are. Very good shortstops. Man, it is real. I'm glad we're doing this. It is interesting to look at it this way. There's so many good shortstops there. It really is. I need to go with the one that's having the best year right now. Yeah. Does that make sense? Um, but I might be overlooking this guy's year just in case. Quick double check. And I'm not. Um, I'm going Carlos Correa. Yeah. That's the guy, bro. You want him uh, at I'll short? Put, Gio I'll put at him third. at short. I'll move Gio over to third. And yeah, his name stuck out. Yeah, yeah just so I'll take Carlos Correa. Hitting really well this year from the PR Puerto Rico. Shella, Colombian De Ponce. Joe's, I that was the right pick. That yeah, was the that is a the right good pick. pick. Damn, that's a good pick. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I kind of screwed up Puerto Rico so far. I'm going to have to figure that out. Very good. I'm going to have to figure that out. Maybe we'll come back to it. I uh, back-to-back picks. Um, Start getting ready. Let's see. There's one guy that would check off the country, but it's kind of going against my game plan. And I'm going to back off of that. Um, who do I have? I have Real Mudo, Vladito, Ozzy Albies. I don't have a third baseman. I have Bogarts. My outfield is completely open. No outfield. No, outfield. Unless you want a slot. I mean, it's still open. Jordan has played some left field. He's played some left. Okay, I might do that. That could also be pretty bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I might do that. Um yeah. If it comes down to it late game, that is an option for okay. you. You know what? I think I might get creative that way. Um, I am going to kick. How come I can't click on USA? I guess it's so. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Su- it'd be such a long list. Okay. Because I guess still like half the league or something. Mm. Okay. I am going to kick Jordan Alvarez to outfield. I am going to move Xander Bogarts to DH. And I will take Francisco Lindor as my shortstop. Okay. A lot of moving parts there. A lot of moving parts there. Mm. Team is evolving. 
A lot of moving parts. So I'm, I'll do my best to update. What is Lindor is Puerto, Puerto Rican, Rican, right? Yep. Okay. okay. So I, I weakened my outfield defense a little bit. Bogarts, my Ruben King. Lindor. So now both shortstops on a team are from the PR. Joe's. All right. Um, felt like I was overlooking this guy with my last pick. I kind of thought about it. And then I'm like, oh, man, this guy wasn't picked. What am I doing? Um, then I started looking. Okay. Now, are we looking at the positions that they've played their whole career? Have they played any games of this career or just this year? I think – just they season. can have played there it's gotta before. It's got to be, like, recent. Okay. Like, like I, you got to believe in their ability to like, play it right here, now. Here's what I'll tell you. So, I considered moving Bogarts to third, but he hasn't done that since, like, 2016. Since he, so like, right. like, since I'm, he like I'm established. Not gonna fight for that. I'm not going to fight right. for that. Um. Ah. Like, if, he's, if it's just he hasn't played it in, in a year or even... I mean, Glaber hasn't played second in two years, but... Like that would be a legal move. Yeah, we got we have some like, feel to it. Has Urshela? What are you doing? Has Urshela played first? Didn't he do that last? He year? got. I think he got an inning in 2019. <laughs> I'm not doing. I don't that. think no. I can allow that. Right. One. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna take Correa, and I'm gonna move Correa to my okay. DH. Okay. And I'm going to take El Nino, and put him at oh. shortstop. And go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and take Fernando Tatis. So Correa will be your DH. Yes, yeah, so he will be my second Dominican. So I'm done there. Oh. I'm already done with two. So Joe's is, Joe's is he's taking the DR as his double country. Correa yes. goes to DH. Uh, from the PR, if I remember correctly. I'm glad I'm yes. learning these guys' countries. This is cool. Um, okay, so Joe's egg right now. El Gary, Jose Abreu, no second baseman. Gio Urshel at third. Tatis at short. Acuna in the outfield. Correa. So Joe's is current. Ryu on the bump. So you're currently missing mm. two outfielders and a second baseman. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And I'm kind of... I'm kind of... Jake, I forget what your... Pick after Lindor was. Uh, was it Jordan Alvarez? Alvarez was the last round. Real Mudo, Fladito, Ozzy, Lindor, Jordan Did we Alvarez. skip a pick for you? I don't think so, right? From my... I'm, I'm about to have two picks. I think I'm up, right? On my thing, I thought we had... Am I crazy? I thought Trout. I went Trout. And Joe's went Correa. Lindor. Oh, so it'd be back to you. Or no, I took Lindor. Right, right, right. So I didn't double with Lindor, is what you're saying? I think we skipped your second pick in the round. Okay, that's fine. I mean, Tatis is still a good, is still a clean pick because yeah. you've you okay. already have two short stops. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's my bad. Maybe, maybe we'll even shuffle up the audio. Okay, back on the clock. Kind of wasn't ready. Okay, I need third base. I need outfield help, and I need a starting pitcher. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Just It's been on my mind. I can't shake it. I can't shake it. Joe's doubled. I'm feeling the pressure. I'm taking Jacob deGrom. Um. Best, best in the world. Yep, he's the best in the world. Jake. So I, I don't have to Jake worry about my Jake. pitcher anymore. I'm done with the U.S. I don't have to think about double. Jake okay, Jake. So I screwed that up. So <laughs> Joe's then takes Tatis after Degrom. So now it's BBD with the double. It's me with a double. And I Okay Because there's two guys I think I'm going to wait 
Because, like, you guys have already taken the position. I think you're already clear of the country. You aren't going to be able to take either of them. Oh, okay. So mm. I can save them for a mm. round. BBD. Gaming. I wish I thought things thoroughly <laughs> like that. Well, we're also, I think, towards the I think I only have one more, like, set of picks. You've left. got like, two more back-to-backs? Or just one? I think I have two more back-to-backs because okay. it's ten total right, right, rounds. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. I made six selections. Now what do I do with that? Mm. Is the other part of the question. So I need potentially one more outfielder. No, outfield's clean. Shortstop, first base. Catcher. Yeah, your outfield's pretty locked up. Yes. Shortstop. I can take a DH and start Otani. Oh yeah, you could make Otani your pitcher. Mm. Which that would be an that would be a spin. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Who's mm-hmm. Jake? Jake, who's your second baseman? Uh, Ozzy Elbies. Okay. Uh, do I do my double? You guys are already taking your stuff. Well, there's only a few picks left, so I kind of have to do it. Mm. I. Okay, I will. Hmm. It's thinking. I guess you guys could take this guy and move him later. So I will take. I will take a Puerto Rican. And it will be Javi Baez to play shortstop. Okay. Ooh. Lock down my defense. Javi I don't know. I don't think any of you. Like Joe, I think Joe was, he was eligible for you as a second baseman if you wanted him. But you already did your double, so you Who's wouldn't that? have taken him. But uh, I'm just taking him. Javier Baez. Okay. As much, I, th- I think his offensive numbers are pretty good this year again. Yeah, he's back up to being. So- he's got like a 800 OPS. And even then, lockdown defense, and he has yeah. a flair for the moment. I like the hobby pick. So if he's at the bottom of your lineup on, on PR this team, and shortstops, man, a bunch. That's cool. Yeah, I really, I really wish Correa was still there. Sorry. Um, yeah. Sorry. No, that's I wish the, Trout was there. That's the game. <laughs> I do wish Trout was there. That's the game. All right, BBD, your second pick. I'm getting stuck here. And I guess <laughs> okay, my fu- okay, okay. I will do my double up. Okay. I'm going back to Japan. Okay. You Darvish, Darvish please. Okay. I thought that could be a play. BBD All doubled with the double Japan. Did you take Japan in when we did the countries draft? I think I did. Look at that. I think pretty early too, either first or second round. Look at that. Okay, so now the pitchers are locked in. Ryu, Darvish, Degrom. It is back to Joe's. BBD is short catcher in first base. I feel like he, I might know what. What he's got going on. I'm trying. Joe's second base, outfield. Who's jumping out to you, big dog? See, I'm trying. I think I, I'm trying not to pigeonhole myself where I think I have already. Um, yeah, which this is where if you weren't careful, it can get sloppy. Yeah. I'm pretty, I'm happy with but that. But I need so. a second baseman right now. And I don't know if I want to use my USA time right now. Ooh. You know what I mean? Just because yeah. I still need some yeah. outfield. And we've we've done our Americans, so. Right. So, so if the other. I'm trying to hold out as much we, as I can. Yeah, this is becoming a weird math equation. It is. Okay. It is. Yeah. It is. Um, it's become a bit of taking more into account, more account for what country they're in than, like, how good a year they're having. Yeah. Well, that's Which I kind of like. <laughs> yeah. Um. Jeez. Yeah. Where is this? Oh, that would have been a funny way to go with it. What? Just looking at Americans. Mm. Mm. 
Uh, you don't need the versatility, but if you had gone there early, it would have been a weird pick for this exercise. I think I've got a guy lurking that. You know what? Will be okay I, for me. Now that I think about it, I need a second baseman, Jonathan Scope. Okay, I'll take oh. Jonathan Scope. Okay, he... I was looking at second base right now, and to be honest, I couldn't pick Altuve because he's from Venezuela. I already got my two from DR, yeah, so I can't pick well. two. Yeah, and he's Curacao, right? Yes, he is from he is from Curacao. So we got and you took couple Curacao. You took Ozzy Albies. And Katal Marte, I, I couldn't take him, who could probably play second base. I would allow Cattell. Yeah, I would recommend I Cattell. Have, I already have two from one country. Oh, he's okay. Dominican. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I th- we thought. I thought you were saying he's from Curacao. Gotcha. Right. So gotcha. I. Which right. surprised me because I. Yeah. I didn't know that. Now let me go ahead. Hmm. And turns look. out I didn't know it because it's not true. In scope, he got some pop. Yeah. Yeah. He had, some scope. Pop. He had a big Homer week recently. He has nine homers on the year. OPS yeah. a little, you know, okay. seven seven thirties. Yeah, that, that's the, that's the part of the late games. game. Yeah. Um, okay. So I need third base and two outfielders. Um. Um. All right. Let me start looking real quick. So I've taken the U.S. So I have a couple big countries left. I haven't taken my. DR player. I haven't taken Venezuela. Um, you haven't gone. You're set up good. You haven't taken Japan or or South Korea. Yeah, I've got a I, shallower pools than you'd think. I think what I'm gonna have to do because I I can save DR and Venezuela yeah, till the end. You have one pick after time. this. Wrap so around. I think just to make sure it doesn't go, uh, he's the first player from this country, I believe. Um, I am going to take my guy. Uh, well, double checking, he's from there. Oh God, I might have just lost him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I just screwed up a country, and I'm not happy about. Okay, so maybe I'll just go back to a bigger country to keep it going a little bit. Yeah, let's go you to do the have two picks. Let's go to the Dominican. Now, if my last player ain't it, then my last player ain't it. Joe's, you like the Dominican, right? I love it. Dominican, Dominican guy. Love this. Um, man, Devers, he's good. Floreal, he's a stud. I kind of like Cattel Marte. That might be my pick. Are there other boppers? Do I need a bopper? Pache, Peralta, Jorge Polanco. And you get flexibility with Cattel if you go there. Right, if I need to get funky at the end. Elsa, no. What am I missing? I know you guys can't tell me, but please tell me. Mm. Oh! I am so dumb. I'm taking Juan Soto. Okay. That's a good pick. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. Field. Yeah, I think so. I might. <laughs> you got Jordan in, in left. Yeah. And, and Soto's playing right field it's, this year. It's so it's. Not, yeah. It's not I a think pretty, he's grading out better there than he did a, in left field. Not the prettiest outfield, but that can be pretty swinging cool. the stick it is. Um, okay. So Soto is my. DR pick. I love him. Okay. So I'm very happy with that. Um, and then I will go back to uh, Venezuela is my other big country. Mm-hmm. I haven't taken. Um, let me sort through there. Cunha's gone. No room for Altuve. He's really good, though. God, I love me some Eduardo Escobar. Do I need third base? You yeah, do. I could take him. Okay, that's on my radar. Outfield. I, I just need two outfielders. I gotta figure out this gymnastics. Take Marwin and put him somewhere. Chop this up, guys. This is harder bit. than this what is it is. Hard. Been. This is not like because you're trying to have a good team too. And yeah. 
Kind of screwed up on going. Um, okay, this is an interesting one. I think what I'm going to do is take a third baseman from this country. I think I'm going to take Eugenio Suarez. Mm. I'm going to take Eugenio Suarez. Eugenio Suarez from third Venezuela. base Venezuela. Yes. You've got your infield locked in. Reading this while Joe's can prepare for his next pick if he hasn't already. Third to first, you've got Suarez, Lindor, Albies, Vladdy. Yep. Bogart says your DH. Yeah, I need I need a center field, and I don't know if I've <laughs> I don't know if I've got that. I might actually. I think there's one guy. You need a guy to be center field. I think there's one guy. Um Mr. McFly. Um, tough part of the draft. This your, is rough. your penultimate pick. Mm. This is rough because. What countries are you with? Can I help? I'm looking at. I mean, I'm look. I have USA still open. Oh, okay. So that's great. Yeah. Right. And what do I you need? I need two outfielders. Outfield a USA. Which is fine. Outfielder. I already got an outfielder in mind for one, but I'm just thinking like, I kind of you know you guys don't have your outfield picks. For USA, and you don't need, <laughs> you know, you guys don't, you guys mm-hmm. already have your you USA can, picks. Yeah. So I'm looking here for yeah. outfielders that are available. Yeah, you can save your American for the final round. Which is what I'm trying to do. I think I've Just got, I this. think I have an outfielder for you. I was looking at Canada. but You need, you have a guy that can play center field already. This guy can't do that, but he could. Be an option for you. You haven't picked that this country. Ooh. I was looking at him. Okay. I was, I was thinking, thinking about him earlier about when him. I. I mean, I have to go to that country in my wraparound here, and oh. I, when I didn't have him available as an outfielder because I clogged my I outfield. I am thinking about. I am thinking about him. I but you wouldn't be a fit with my current roster. I was but. thinking between him and. Uh, I think he might be Josh Naylor. Ooh. Who's oh, who's also from Canada? I would pick that this guy. Yeah, O'Neill's having with, a good year. Uh, O'Neill, though. Yeah. Um, all right, so I'll take him. Tyler O'Neill. I'll take him, and then I'll I'll have a nice, relaxed last round because I got USA. Yeah, that I can just you know, go ahead and take. you know who your guy is. Okay, I think I do. BBD, your final two picks, guys. I know who I'm going with here, and we're just writing down Joe's pick. I am taking my catcher, my Venezuelan, Salvador Perez. Okay. Having a fantastic year. Yeah. Can't say enough good things about the years, the year that Salvi is having. Like that. When I was thinking about catcher, I was thinking about going with him too. Yeah. yeah almost, well, Venezuela is so deep. I so deep. Took him. That, that I thought I, I thought I was going to be able to get something better. And you kind of really can't. He's having such a good year, and he's at a position of value. Mm -hmm. Venezuela. And with my final selection, I'm going to first base. I'm going to Canada. He's, you know, beyond his best best years, but he's a former MVP. If he's at the bottom of your lineup right now, you're pretty happy there. Joey Votto. Okay. Joey Votto. Joey V rolling it out. I like that. Oh, Canada. Um, all right. A couple Canadians at first base. Joe's McFly. Yes. So who did who did you take last round? You took he took Tyler O'Neill. Tyler O'Neill from Canada. I guess he can play either corner outfield spot. And you need So Joe's McFly saves his American for the last round. Jesse Winker. I go ahead oh, I'll take Jesse Winker. Wow. I'll take Jesse Winker. Wow. He's great. Killing it. Going by this year, I know that there was a lot of people out there, but I'm just going to go by stats that are happening this year. Shows. Kids batting 346. Okay. 1,000 OPS. Yeah. So Joe's your... Wow. Cincinnati Reds. Yeah. Nice left field action. Yeah, go ahead. Yankees trade for him, please. Yeah, you're... <laughs> Joe's, that'd be that so was... cool. <laughs> that probably won't happen. That nice. Was... Great save for the final round. Oh, yeah. With the year huge. he's having... 
It's Joe's your team's complete. Left to right, Winker, Acuna, O'Neal. Third to first, Urshela, Tatis, Scope, Jose Abreu. Gary Sanchez behind the plate, Correa DHing, Hyunjin Ryu on the mound. Mm. Okay. I'm good with that. I'm good. I'm Joe's. That's I'm, a team. I'm great with that. That's a team. Um, okay, so I need I'm just making sure I'm not missing any of the countries. I've got Cuba. Um I've got the PR. Um man, I mean the only thing I think the only place to go cuz I kind of I kind of screwed up without the <laughs> center fielder a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um but there is a guy who plays center field at an MLB level who um is from a country I haven't taken. So I will be taking Shogo Akiyama from Japan. Mm. Okay. Um Shogo some Cincinnati Reds in the last round. And that's your final pick, right? That's my final, final pick, pick of the draft. Okay. So now guys, you guys got to tell us who you think has the best team here. Mm -hmm. We'll yeah. tweet it. We'll tweet out a graphic or something. Yeah, I'll we'll have. Let's get one of the geeks up. to make out a graphic. I'll uh, <laughs> I'll try to burn as quick as I can. Myself, Real Muto, USA, Vladito, Canada, Ozzy Albies, Curacao, Eugenio Suarez, Venezuela, Lindor, PR, Soto, DR, Shogo, Japan, Jordan Alvarez, Cuba, and Zanda Bogats from Aruba, uh, with Jacob Degrom on the bump. USA. BBD, Salvi Perez from Venezuela, Joey Votto from Canada, Jazz Chisholm from the Bahamas, J Ram. Uh, he's Dominican. He's Dominican. Dominican. Javi Baez, also from the PR. Uh, Max Kepler from Germany. Mike Trout from the USA. Randy Rosarena from Cuba. Shohei Otani, DHing from Japan. And you, Darvish, also from Japan. Mm. Uh, and Joe's. McFly, my guy, El Gary from the Dominican, Jose Abreu from Cuba, Jonathan Scope from Curacao, Gio Urshela from Colombia, uh, Fernando Tatis Jr., you might have heard of him, he's from the DR, Tyler O'Neill from Canada, Ronald Acuna Jr. in the outfield with Jesse Winker from the USA, on uh, Carlos Correa, DHing, our, our DHs are pretty funny, Correa, Otani, <laughs> With Ryu on the bump, yeah, we will try to make a graphic for mm -hmm. this. Um, and thank you, guys. I hope hope you like this. I'm kind of happy with my team. I'm kind of happy with your guys' team. I feel like I... Jake, you've got boppers all over yeah. the field. You know, I think when the lineup lines up, you know, Akiyama, I, I think, you know, it was kind of a last pick in the draft, and that's fine because I'm mm -hmm. happy with the rest of my team. And the rest of your lineup, he's if he's your nine here, and just gonna play a solid center field. I really went with it with Degrom, so yeah. okay, I'm happy with my team. I'm happy with my team. Yep. Um, yeah, Degrom, you don't even really need to worry about your outfield defense as much. Yeah, it's just punchies. If there's one Straight thing I would have done different, okay. I would have probably done like Venezuela twice instead of DR, and I would have probably done something like a Real Muto at catcher. Instead of well, Remoto's USA. Well, yeah. I could have done USA twice. Yeah, mm -hmm. you could that would have probably been a lot made it a lot easier too. If I would have done that, to be your twice. double up country. Yeah, I may be punk catcher. Um, I thought Jan Gomes would get pick catcher from Brazil, still mm -hmm. solid, and then that would have just opened up another big country. You know, could have. Yeah, would've yeah. Been if solid. I had gone. Gomes if I had gone for pick. that, yeah. could have taken a different Venezuelan, but so there was an option. But uh, I'm, I'm happy. It's good. I I like yeah. it. Man. Cool. Each team has some some unique stuff. Yeah. I think uh, everyone's got like the twist you kind of had to do. We uh, full might <laughs> might have BBD cut out a couple of the silent parts because it took a lot of thinking. Um, there weren't that, there weren't as many as you'd think. Yeah, it's true. I, was, I, was, I it's noted true. times that I thought okay. should, and there's only. Maybe like four cuts in here that I think really have to come out. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Uh, so thank you guys. Hope you like this. As always, leave some comments. We're going to bake the algorithm the normal way coming on Monday. But this really helps our schedule for the week. Um, 
So shout out to Joe's McFly. Thank you. Have him have him Instagram you for now. Hopefully the Twitter's yeah. back soon. Yes, or hit me up on yeah. Pinstripe Strong. Pinstripe you can still tweet Strong. at Pinstripe Strong. Check out their pod. Check, yeah. out, check out the YouTube channel. Got the vlogs. All oh, of yeah. The All gaming on Twitch. Vlog. You know, I do gaming. All of it. And if you're at a Yankee game... <laughs> Usually, see him. well, at least one of you or Keith is, is yeah, almost I, always you're gonna, there. You're kind of trying to be there all the time. Good okay. stuff. Good stuff. BBD, Dug out mugs. Stuff. Thank you. Dug, Dug out mugs. mugs. Thank you. Uh, everyone have a good weekend. Check out everything on John Boy Media. Pinstripe Strong. They're built different. Some the talking Knicks did their year end thing. Talking Nets are still rolling because they're still playing. The compound sequence. Sequence. JJR, talking Yanks, talking baseball, talking Jets, compound, everything. There's a lot of stuff. You guys are the best. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs>